Doing these three simple stretches every morning before you get up is the secret to less pain and stiffness over the age of 50. If you don't know who I am, my name is Will Harlow and I'm the over 50s specialist physio here at HT Physio in Farnham. And today I'm gonna to be showing you three simple stretches to do every morning for less pain and stiffness. Now I'm gonna show you the stretches right now, but before I do, I just need to let you know they're not gonna be suitable for everyone. Do get checked out before you give them a try and if they cause you any pain, just avoid them. This morning stretch sequence is perfect for anyone with arthritis or stiff joints or pain in the morning who just wants to get moving a bit quicker. So we're gonna start off with something called the quad hip flexor stretch, which we can do from your bed before you even get up in the morning. So I'm gonna assume that you've just woken up and you're lying on your side, your alarm's just gone off. Before you get up, you're going to do this little sequence. So before you even roll out of bed, the first thing I want you to try and do is to bring your top leg up towards you like this and take your top hand down and just hold the front of the shin. The next thing we're going to do to put this stretch on is just gently take the whole leg out behind you by doing a combination of pulling the shin up towards your bottom and taking your leg behind. Now, if you've got a stiff knee, you're gonna do more behind movement. And if you've got a stiff hip or a stiff back, you're going to do more pulling the shin movement. It really doesn't matter how we get the stretch, but you'll know it when you feel it because you'll get a pull coming down the front of the leg. So that's the quad hip flexor stretch. And it's so good for the morning because most of the night we spend with our knees coming up closer to our chest, which means our hip flexors already start the day tight. And that can lead to problems with your lower back, it can lead to pain in the hips, it can lead to problems getting the legs moving in the morning. So just reversing that tightness by stretching it off can go a huge way to improving your stiffness first thing in the morning. And as with all of the stretches today, we're gonna to hold them for 30 seconds. We're gonna make sure we do both sides. You can do each side a couple of times if you wish. You can just do it once, but it would be good to come back to it later in the day if you only do one time. So that is the first stretch. I'm gonna show you the other side. So I'm gonna roll over. This will give you an idea of what it looks like on this side. So we bring this knee up towards us. The hand comes down and just holds the shin. And then we're just gonna bring that leg out behind and bring the heel up towards the bottom. Okay, and once you've got your stretch, you're gonna hold 30 seconds. Now, if you're thinking, well, I can't do that with my leg, I can't reach my shin, the best thing for you to do would be to use a towel. So have a towel by your bed before you go to sleep make a bit of a band, and then you're gonna loop it around your ankle, and then you can do the stretch. So that means you don't have to reach down quite so far, and this is perfect for people who've got a stiff knee and they can only get their knee to there. You can still pull your leg back behind you without holding onto your shin. So the towel or a resistance band works just as well. Before we go any further, I just want to tell you about Three Tip Friday. Three Tip Friday is my weekly email that I send out to my list, and it features three of the most interesting things I found that week. It could be a health tip, it could be a piece of research I'm reading, or it could be a new tool that I've found to be really useful for helping people get more mobile. It's totally free, I just send it out once a week, there's no annoying promos inside, and you can sign up for it by going down below this video and entering your email in the Three Tip Friday link. The second morning stretch we're going to do is called the book opener. And this is a great stretch for your lower and mid back to get things mobile before you start getting up and also to improve your posture before you even get out of bed. So I'm gonna show you this exercise. It's another lying down exercise. I'm actually gonna start facing away from the camera so you can see what the movement looks like. So you're gonna start lying on one side. Doesn't really matter which side. I'm gonna come quite close to the edge of the bed, but hopefully you'll have plenty of bed behind you here. And you want to lie with your head on the pillow and your arms out in front of you at 90 degrees to your body. The exercise is super simple. You're gonna keep your legs exactly where they are and then you're just gonna roll backwards, opening the hand up and letting your shoulders roll back without moving your legs at all. And then this is the end position. Now you can choose to either lie here and enjoy the stretch for 20, 30 seconds, 
or you can just take five seconds, then roll back, and then open the book again. So roll back into that book opened position. Just allow the shoulder to hang down. Don't let the legs lift up, keep them exactly where they are. And again, you can either hold or you can, um, you can repeat the movement instead. Now, I like to let my head roll at the same time, but if you've got neck pain or a stiff neck, you can just leave your head here looking up at the ceiling, so your head's in neutral, and your, your shoulder and your thoracic spine have rotated without the neck. But I like to allow my neck to move as well, so then you get a nice neck stretch at the same time. Should feel this all the way up the spinal column, probably from the lower back right up into the mid back as well. I'm gonna try and show you this side, but I'm probably gonna whack my chest of drawers. So I'll come right to the edge of the bed this side, have my arms out in front of me here, and then I'm gonna open up and roll backwards. I just dodge the cupboard there and just allow my arm to drop down. So again, feeling that nice stretch and then bringing the book back closed again. Almost looks like opening a book, which is why it gets its name. Repeat a few times over or just hold for one nice long stretch. And then we're gonna spring out of bed and do the final stretch in this routine. The final stretch we're going to do in the morning for this sequence is the calf stretch with chest opener. So we're combining two stretches, one for the calf and one for your chest muscles. And the reason this is so important is because overnight, our calves can get tight where our feet are relaxed and down, putting the calf in a shortened position. And the same thing happens for the chest. If we've got our arms like this, which we often do when we're on our sides, the chest can feel tight when we wake up as well. So this movement is simple. We'll start with the calf part. So what you're going to do is you're gonna put one foot in front of the other like this in a lunged position. The leg at the back is gonna be the one that's going to be stretched. So we keep that back leg nice and straight and the front one we're just going to bend, keeping that back heel down on the floor. You should be able to feel a bit of a stretch there in your calf. Now what we're gonna do is take both hands behind the head like this and then making an effort to open the elbows up and slightly lift the head just until you can feel a stretch in your chest as you bring your body forward by bending that front knee. Now I can feel a stretch in both areas. It's a really nice stretch. It's opening out my chest and giving me more mobility in my ankle by, flex it, by improving my calf flexibility. And I'm just gonna hold this for 20 to 30 seconds and then you can relax, go back to the other side. So put the other leg out the back, keep the chest stretched the same, and then just bring your body forward to put the stretch on the calf at the back. Again, 20 to 30 seconds. By this point, you're up, you're on your bedroom floor, you're ready to go, go and tackle the day. So those are three great stretches that you can do every morning to keep you supple and pain free. I hope you found this video useful and helpful. If you have, then do consider leaving a comment below because it does help us to improve these videos and share this video with a friend if you found it good and you know someone who might also benefit. Make sure you like the video and subscribe to the channel so you'll be the first to hear about our new videos. And if you want to get more from me, you can pick up a copy of my brand new book, Thriving Beyond 50, the 2024 edition, out with Hay House, on the 1st of October. It's my best piece of work to date. It's got 450 pages full of exercises, tips, and tricks to help keep you mobile, active, and pain-free in your 50s and beyond. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate your time, and I'll speak to you again on the next video.